Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let's talk about using iCloud Drive but forcing some files to be stored locally. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So when you use iCloud Drive everything is stored in one virtual location. That's on iCloud Drive. You see those files on your Mac but they're also stored on Apple servers. And then you can see them on all your other devices. But what if you want to store some files in iCloud Drive and some files locally? I'm going to show you three methods including one you shouldn't use, one that may solve all your problems with no hassle, and another one that will allow you to decide which files are on iCloud Drive and which files are not. They're just stored locally. The first method I want to show you is actually the simplest. But whether it's for you depends on what you really want. A lot of times when people ask me how do I make sure files are stored locally even though they're on iCloud Drive, what they really want is their files to be in iCloud Drive but to make sure they're also on their Mac at all times. So if they're offline they could access them. In this case all you need to do is go into System Preferences. Then click on Apple ID. Make sure you have iCloud selected. Now. At the bottom you should see Optimize Mac Storage. If you have that turned on that means all of your files are always on iCloud Drive. They're always stored on Apple servers. But files are only stored on your Mac if there's space and if you recently accessed the files or your Mac predicts that you might need that file soon. So you could find yourself in a situation where you're offline and you don't have access to your files because your Mac didn't store a local version. There doesn't appear to be any difference to you. All your files look like they're there. It's only when you try to open them that it then tries to access them on iCloud Drive. But if you have this turned off like I do then every single file on iCloud Drive is also on your Mac. So you never have to worry about whether a file is available online or offline. All files are available whether or not you're online. The downside is you're limited by the storage on your Mac. So you could only have as many files as you have space on your Mac. If you're in a situation where you have a very small drive, say a 256 gig hard drive on your Mac, but you have more than 256 gigs of files, then you could certainly store more in iCloud Drive, but you'll have to use this Optimize Mac Storage feature because your Mac simply can't fit all of those files. If you need to access all your files offline, then you should definitely avoid this problem by making sure you only buy Macs that have enough internal storage. Otherwise you might see something like this. Here I am in my Documents folder and I see next to this folder here this icon telling me that there are items in this folder that are certainly there on iCloud Drive but I don't necessarily have local versions of them. If I look in the folder I can see the status of each file. So if I were to try to access this file now while I'm online it would simply download it on demand. I may not even notice a difference. But if I'm completely offline it has no way to download it from iCloud Drive so trying to open this file won't work. But I could Control click, right click or two finger click on the trackpad on the file and select Download Now. It would download this file. I'm telling iCloud that this file is important to me. I want to make sure I have a local copy and now I should be good for a while. At some point in the future it may decide well you didn't really access that file that often so I'll offload it. But at least for the time being I have it available. I can even select this folder here, choose Download Now and now it's going to download everything in there. So you'll see those little icons go away and now I have all of the stuff available even if I'm offline. And I can also select a file, say if it's a large file, Control click it and Remove Download. So just that one file now is no longer available. I can use that to save space. Now what if that's not your situation? What if your situation is you want to have some files that aren't on iCloud Drive at all. They're only local to your Mac. For instance you may have a folder where you're storing video projects and you don't want all that stuff to be uploaded to iCloud Drive. You just want it to be local. Well one method you'll see a lot is to use dot nosync after a folder or file name and it tells your Mac not to send this file to iCloud Drive. iCloud Drive won't see it at all. Now I don't recommend this method. The third method I'm going to show you that's the one you should be using in this situation. But if you really want to do it you could take a folder like this. You could put at the end of it dot no sync just like that. And now you'll see the icon 
changes to a cloud with a line through it. That folder will no longer be an iCloud Drive. Anything you add to it will no longer be an iCloud Drive. But I recommend not using this at all. It's not really technically supported. It does work uh, and it can be confusing. You could easily forget why a folder isn't appearing in iCloud Drive because you didn't remember that you added this to it. It's not a good method. A much better method is to simply create a local folder on your drive for local files. You see if you have in System Preferences under Apple ID iCloud you have under Options Desktop and Documents folders turned on then your Documents folder and your Desktop folder are part of iCloud Drive. As a matter of fact if you look in the regular place for those by going to your Home folder you won't see Documents and Desktop there anymore. They've been removed from here and they are actually in iCloud Drive now. But your Home folder is all local files. These are files not in iCloud Drive. So you can simply create another folder in here. I've created one called Local Documents. And in here I can put documents that aren't part of iCloud Drive at all. They're only on this Mac iCloud Drive has no idea they even exist. This is a much better solution than no sync. Just set up a local documents folder or call it what you want. You can set up a variety of folders here if you want with different names. Anything put in your home folder is not going to be on iCloud Drive. I recommend you don't try to create a folder here called Documents and certainly not one called Desktop because that would be confusing to have two folders with that name and then it will be difficult to figure out when you're saving a file to your Documents folder whether it's the local one in your home folder or the one on iCloud Drive. So don't use those names. But certainly something like Local Documents makes sense. You can even use some of the existing folders. Like there's a Movies folder here where all of your video data for things like iMovie and Final Cut Pro would be stored. That makes sense because those files are usually massive and storing them on iCloud Drive isn't always the best idea. But you can also create your own things in movies. For instance if you have a collection of some video backgrounds that you want to sometimes use. They're too big to store in iCloud Drive. Instead of creating its own folder you can always create something under the Movies folder because it kind of makes sense from an organizational standpoint. But any folders that you create here in your Home folder is going to be local not on iCloud Drive. And then anything you create under iCloud Drive would then be synced with iCloud Drive. So you have complete control there. There's no reason to use dot no sync on folders. If you don't want to have to jump from your Documents folder to your Home folder you could just set up aliases. So for instance here if I have local documents and I don't want to have to go to a different location to see those I could drag, hold down Option and Command and it will create an alias and put an alias inside of my iCloud Documents folder. Now in iCloud Documents I see Local Documents. I jump to the Local Documents folder inside of my Home folder. It works really well if you use Column View. In Column View here I am looking at iCloud Drive. I could go into Documents and then to Local Documents and it appears to flow down into this like Local Documents is really inside Documents. It's not. It's an alias. This won't be synced in iCloud Drive because it's not really inside the Documents folder. It's just an alias going to another location on your drive. So there are a few alternatives for you. If you just want to make sure all your files are available locally when you're offline just turn off the Optimize feature. Otherwise if you want to create special folders that are never synced to iCloud Drive create them in your Home folder. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the Thumbs Up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the Subscribe button so you don't miss out.